Hello everyone and welcome back to Jacklet Educational Channel. So this is the part 15 for the unit wise complete syllabus preparation for the UGC NET environmental science exam. And if you haven't checked the previous parts, you can check the link given in the description below. This will be very important and helpful for you. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So first let us recall the thing which we discussed in the last video of this series. So we discussed about the lithosphere and mostly we discussed about the crust part which is oceanic part, oceanic crust and continental crust and the upper mantle portion which is called as asthenosphere. So all these things we have discussed. Today we will discuss about the mantle part, the proper mantle thing and the core region of the earth. So it will be helpful in the environmental geology part also. So let's move to the next slide. So first of all, what is mantle? So many of you will be calling it as mental. So it is not mental, it is mantle and is divided into two important parts that is upper mantle and lower mantle. So upper means the mantle which is in upper part and lower is the lower mantle part. So most of the mantle is composed of the solid rock. Whereas the difference is the lower mantle position is having the softer rock as compared to the upper mantle part. And this mantle portion makes up the 85% of the earth's mass and the temperature in this region can reach up to 870 degrees celsius. Yes, it is very highly heated when we move below the earth and as we move more and more below the temperature increases. So the thickness of the mantle is around average on an average 1800 miles thick. So these are important points. So let's move to the next slide. Next thing to understand the phenomena, one important phenomena, you have to know the transfer of heat. So there are three kinds of transfer of heat mostly. It will be helpful in the part of the thermodynamics. So these things you would have must read in the class 12th. So first is radiation. So what is radiation? These things are also asked in the net examination. So note down these things and be clear with the concept. So radiation means the transfer of energy that is heat energy through space such as transfer of heat from the sun. So the sun is situated many miles away from us but the heat we can feel how because of this radiation transfer of energy. So in the space the heat energy is transferred from one place to another in the media in the, through the space that is called as the radiation transfer of heat. Second thing is conduction. So conduction means someone will be conducting yes the transfer of heat within a material or between two materials that are touching. So let us take an example that here there is the fire and if you place a normal object, for example, if you place a container on that fire, then that container will also get heated. How? Because of this phenomena that is conduction. When these two materials are touching or within a material also, the transfer of heat is known as conduction. So heat is conducted from one media to another when it is in contact or it is conducting and touching. Next thing is convection. So convection is the transfer of heat by the movement of currents within a fluid. So this is seen in case of the oceanic current and also convection by the movement of currents within a fluid when the heat is transferred from the fluid media it is called as convection. So I hope you have been able to understand these three phenomena and these three terms. Let's move to the important part which is related to our video, this topic that is convection currents. So convection means you have learned that it is the flow in between the liquid flow. So the heat is transferred and we also know that density is equal to mass by volume. So what are these convection currents and where they are present? So the process of liquid heating and cooling in between the mantle and the outer core of the earth is known as convection current. So mo for most of you this will be the new term but write down when the liquid heating and cooling takes place in between the mantle region and the outer core of the earth it is called as convection current. So this core region we will be discussing in the next slides but you should know this is the phenomena in between outer core and the mantle. So when a liquid is heated the particles spread apart so this is the ther thermodynamics part. So this is due to the fact that their energy that means the particles energy when they are heated is being converted into kinetic energy. Kinetic energy means the energy of movement so as a result they move they gain power they gain energy so they move from one place to another as a result the particles spread out. So once these molecules spread out their volume increases causing their density to decrease. So when the molecules are spreading the volume increases but their density decreases. So this is also the phenomena you should note down. Therefore what happens is when the hot liquid floats to the top and the cool cooler water which has decreased in volume and increased in density. Yes, 
the cold water or cold fluid which is having the less volume and increased density it will sink to the bottom but the hot liquid it will float on the top and it is the opposite of the cooler water that is sinking at the bottom. Next thing is this process occurs repeatedly in the mantle due to the heat from the core and the mantle. So the core region produces lots of heat and it is more enormous than the mantle part. So as a result this phenomena that is convection current takes place. So let's move to the next slide to know more easily. This picture shows the convection current which takes place between the mantle and the outer core region. So as you can see this is the current moving from the mantle and the outer core because of the heat transfer since the density of the liquid decreased it floats up towards the surface so in the surface layer the less dense the liquids are found and inside that that is the more close to the core part there are the density the liquid is having more density. Let's move to the next slide now we are coming to the core part so core is divided into two parts most of you will be knowing one is outer core and next one is inner core. So outer core is actually the liquid layer. It is made up of liquid iron and nickel. This layer creates the earth's magnetic field. Yes, your compass, that magnet which is attracted towards the magnet of the earth, that magnet is situated in this layer that is the outer core. So you should note down these things and the temperature in the outer core can reach up to 2200 degrees Celsius. Now coming to the inner core part. So as you can see inner core, Inner core is the center of the earth and it is made up of scorching hot iron and nickel composition. This layer stays solid. So outer core is liquid fluid structure. The inner core is solid though due to intense pressure. So the pressure is more that's why it is solid in structure and this layer may also contain oxygen, sulfur and silicon and it is having the highest temperature. So it will be from 9000 to 13000 degrees Celsius in the temperature which is the center of the earth. So I hope you are clear with the core part also. Time for the next slide and here you will know the chemical properties of all these three layers. So you should note down this is the frequent last question in the net exam. Starting with the crust average composition maximum by oxygen 47% followed by silicon 27%, aluminum 8%, iron 5%, calcium 4% then other that is magnesium, potassium and sodium 2%. Now coming to the mantle part, it is composed of silicate rock rich in magnesium and iron. So you should note down, it is composed of mostly silicate rocks that is majorly found in the silica forms rich in magnesium and iron. And its density is 3.3 to 5.7 gram per centimeter cube. Coming to the core part, core is the iron and nickel alloy that is present and its density is 10 to 13 gram per centimeter cube and here crust density is divided into two that is we have learned in the last video continental crust and oceanic crust the continental crust is having the lower density that is 2.7 to 3 gram per centimeter cube whereas the oceanic crust is having slight bigger amount of the density that is 3 to 3.3 gram per centimeter cube now we will know the most important thing that is the discontinuities which is asked in the exam in many examination it can be environmental science or it can be geography or any state examination. So this is you should know these are the five important discontinuities I will be telling you number one is Conrad discontinuity which is the discontinuity or the layer between the outer and the inner crust part the Mohorovicic discontinuity or it is also called as Moho discontinuity so it should not be confused it is also called Moho discontinuity which is between the crust and the mantle. Next comes the repeated discontinuity between the outer and the inner mantle. So it is between the mantle that is outer mantle and inner mantle repeated discontinuity. Next is Gutenberg discontinuity or it is also called as way chart Gutenberg discontinuity. You should not get confused here also. It is between the mantle that is lower mantle and the core region. Next coming is Lehman discontinuity between the outer and the inner core. So yeah table aapka must hai, you should make this table. Next is where these evidences are coming, that's how they are knowing the scientists that this is the pressure, this is the temperature and this is the composition. So we can't go deep inside because it is too hot. So this is in the form of two types of evidence. Number one is direct evidence from the rock samples which we can collect through the machines mostly and indirect evidence from the seismic waves. Yes, the waves which are going inside the earth which can know the composition and structure of the elements present inside the earth. So these two are the ways in which the evidences are found. This is next thing is will be very very important and it is a task for you that you have to guess 
all these five boxes and tell me in the comment section that whether you have learned rightly or not i'll be knowing from here so this four five three two one it is given and you should take this correctly and you should analyze them and tell me what are these five parts so i'll tell you the hint it can be outer core inner core asthenosphere upper mantle so you have to tell me in the comment section so i hope you have enjoyed this video if you want more such videos make sure you have subscribed to the channel and hit the bell icon to get further updates see you guys in our next video till then take care and keep smiling